Robert Parks here for the newly renamed 750 North Channel. It was cold in Connecticut this week, but it's warm inside, so on to today's topic. Where I grew up in rural Indiana, there was a thing that maybe you haven't experienced if you grew up in a densely populated area like the Northeast. Every year a photographer would get in a plane and fly around taking photos of all the homes, which were few and far between. Then he would drive around and attempt to sell large prints to all the homeowners. A number of houses out there are more than just a place to live. They've been in the same family since they were built, as long as a century and a half ago. So enough homeowners would buy these prints to make the venture profitable, at least historically. Well, I'm not going to hire an airplane or buy a medium format camera, like days gone by. But I was back in Indiana recently with my Altar Robotics X-Star Premium drone, and I wondered whether I couldn't make the same or better wall art in the digital age. There's really two things that would be necessary. First, the X-Star's 12 megapixel camera has to be up to the task. If the image is blurry or pixelated, it's not going to live up to the medium format photo of days gone by. Second, the digital printer is going to have to offer something suitable for hanging. If there's anything substandard in the printing process, this isn't going to be a success. Well, I use Amazon for nearly everything in my life. So for this exercise, I'm trying out Amazon prints, canvas prints, or gallery wraps as they're sometimes called. You can get to Amazon prints using either of the URLs shown here and linked in the description below. If you use the first one, I get credit for a referral, so thank you for that. Okay, let's walk through the ordering process. I'm going to launch a web browser and go to the URL that I mentioned earlier. I'm going to sign in using my regular Amazon account. I'm going to scroll down to wall decor. I'm going to click on canvas prints. I'm going to go ahead and select the largest available size, 20 by 24. And I want landscape orientation. Now when I hit Get Photos, I'm actually taken to my Amazon Drive or formerly Amazon Cloud Drive account. So it's going to show me photos I already have in there. I'm blurring out all but the photo that we're using for today's exercise. I'll add it to my project. And I see my work in progress. If I wanted, I could uh, zoom in, uh, move the selection, etc. but I'm satisfied with it the way it is. So let's go ahead and review and buy this. Now, I'm not going to click buy today because I've actually already purchased it. I uh, took advantage of a sale over the holidays and got a 20 by 24 uh, print for $57.42. I ordered it on December 30th. It arrived on January 5th. So even with a holiday weekend and a one-day delay in shipping due to Winter Storm Grayson, it was still here in a week. So for $57.42 or less money than someone would have paid for a flat print of their home taken from a plane, I've got a gallery wrap in my hands in less than a week. Incidentally, this is the house that I grew up in on a street named 750 North, which was obscure enough to be available for use as a social media name across YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook at the end of 2017. And now for the moment of truth, the unboxing. Ta-da! And here's our first glimpse of it outside of the protective bag that it's shipped in. It's canvas on a wooden frame. The mounting hardware is mounted to the back. And the resolution is quite good from any normal viewing distance. I'm very satisfied with the product. And that's my first experience with Amazon Canvas prints. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe, or share. As always, 
Thanks for watching and have a great day.